Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to go over that extra example of chapter 2 on particle size distribution. In, in this example, uh, you are given three real soil samples from a site in Florida. You have soil A, B, and C, and you are, you are given sieve analysis results and are asked to determine these two coefficients for soils A, B, and C. And also, given the particle size distribution curve, determine which soil is coarser, A or B, or A or C. And this slide shows the site where these three soil samples were taken. And on the right-hand side are three particle size distribution curves from the sieve analysis. So you have soil A, B, and C here. And then we're going to determine uh, these two uh, coefficients for all three soils. Okay. Um, to determine the coefficient of gradation and that uniformity coefficient, we need d10, d30, and d60 values. Okay. So first, so this is part A. Okay. To determine coefficient of uniformity and coefficient of gradation, uh, to do that, so we need, as I mentioned, we need d10, d30, and d60 values. Okay. So let's start with d10 values. So d10 values is, by definition, the particle size corresponding to 10% finer. So first, find that 10% finer value on the y-axis. And then, let's say, if draw a horizontal line to find the corresponding particle size or particle diameter. And you have three particle size distribution curves. Uh, each corresponds to one soil sample. So you have three d10 values, one for soil A, one for soil B, and one for soil C. Okay. So for d10 values, for these three soil, so I'm going to write soil A here, and that d10 value, so this is d10 for soil A, and you have d10 for soil B and C as well. Okay. So for soil A, this d10 value is approximately 0 uh, 0 0.6 millimeter and then for soil B its d10 value is about 0.2 and soil C d10 value is about um, 0.15 okay so these are the three d10 values and then for d30 values so again, you start from the y-axis. So d30 is the particle size corresponding to 30% final. From this 30% mark, you draw a horizontal line, and then you can get the corresponding d30 values for three soils. So this is for soil, this is for soil A. So this is d30 for soil A, and then for B and C here. Okay. And for soil A, from this uh, graph, d30 is uh, five about five millimeter and for soil b d30 is um, about 2.1 and then for soil c d30 is about um, one millimeter okay the last d value is d60 so d60 again you start from the y-axis draw, draw a horizontal line and then find the corresponding d60 values for these uh, three soil samples. So this is again this is d60 for soil A, and then you have B and C there as well. Okay. So for soil A, d60 is from this graph is about 11 millimeter, and d60 for soil B is about 7 millimeter. And then the 60 for soil C, this is um, about 4.5 millimeter. Okay. Okay. Once you have these uh, D values, then um, to calculate these two coefficients, just use their definition. So Cu uh, is defined as D60 over D10. Okay. And if you substitute these two numbers, uh, it's 11 over 0.6. So that's about 18.33 for soil A. 
And then for coefficient of gradation c sub c, by definition, this is d30 square over d60 times d10. Okay. Again, substituting these numbers, so you have 5 square over 11 times 0.6. Okay. So that gives you 3.78. And similarly, for soils B and C, you can use the definition of CU and CC to calculate their values. And I'm going to skip the detail here. For soil B, if you substitute D60, D10, uh, CU value is 35. And CC value is 3.15. For soil C, CU is 30. And CC value is one point. For eight. Okay, so that's part A of this example, calculating these two coefficients. And for part B, uh, by looking at these curves, you're asked to basically judge which soil is coarser, A or C. Okay, so if you look at these two curves here, um, you notice that the curve for soil A, that particle size distribution curve for soil A, is to the left of soil C. Okay. So what this means that is that for any given percentage, so if you look at any percentage finer, so let's say 70%, or let's start with 40% here. Okay. For any given percentage, if you compare the particle size uh, the corresponding particle size of soil A to that of soil C, you will notice that a higher basic um, soil A here is uh, has a larger uh, particle size. Okay, so this is true for any percentage. That means that for any percentage of soil, um, soil A has a larger particle size, and um, this means that soil A is actually finer or uh, coarser than soil C. Okay. Than soil C. Okay. And so basically for if you look at from the x axis, so just now we start from y axis. So for any percent finer, soil A has a larger particle size. And you can also start from the x-axis. So for any given particle size, so let's say, uh, oops, so for say about 1.5. So for any particle size, if you draw a vertical line, you will notice that the y value of curve C is higher than that of curve A. So that means for any particle size, the uh, soil C has a higher percentage uh, that is finer than that size. So again, this justifies that uh, soil C has more finer particles, or uh, put it another way, soil A has more coarser particles. So soil A is coarser than soil C. Um, but to sum this up, if you have two particle size distribution curves, so if one curve is shift to the larger particle size, for this case, remember, a uh, larger particle size is plotted to the left. So if soil A's curve is shifted to the left, it's to the left of soil C, uh, to basically to the larger particle size uh, side, that means soil A is coarser. Okay. So that is basically that extra example. And that concludes all the uh, examples uh, we want to discuss for this chapter here.